Chris Panic. We're at Mohead Lounge at Metal Town 2013. We have the wonderful Amor Renfe. Just give us your name and what you do. I'm Olaf. And I play guitars. I'm uh, Jake. Nice thing. So last time we met you guys, well, we had you and at um, Sweden Rock Festival, and that was a storming show. How's it been for you since then? Uh, well, it's been absolutely really good, but uh, what I got to ask you is, well, how did that interview turn out? I haven't seen it myself. <laughs> I heard, heard a lot of very interesting stories about that. Mm, it was interesting. It was kind of up and down, up and down. Yeah, and yeah, sure. I, I, I'm, I, I'm probably better than what you ended up at the end of the night. Because, uh, no, but seriously, uh, Sweden Rock was the first festival that we did uh, this uh, season, and uh, uh, things were a little bit hitchy, but it turned out it was we had a great turnout and everything. Since then, things have really been shaping up. Like okay. last weekend, we did uh, Grass Pop and uh, Tuska yeah. in Belgium and Finland, respectively, which was absolutely fantastic. Like 10,000 plus crowds, and yeah. now we're here at Metal Town, which is obviously really, really awesome. Playing to 200 people. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it, I, I think it, it was it was probably not more than 180, actually. 184 was the official figure, I think. Playing your hometown show and you got 200 people. <laughs> hey, great! Now, you, you, your your new record Nexus has had an amazing success worldwide so far. I mean, how has that been for you guys? How do you feel? Is it humbling or is it kind of like whoa, you know, taken back a little bit? It's awesome. Uh, you know, like the first album went straight up above our expectations directly and uh, when we released this album we actually just hoped that it would be as successful as the first one but it surpassed that one like in two weeks so uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> it's good it's good to be us right now yeah. <laughs> like an example like the first single that we released from the latest record the self-titled uh, the nexus yeah. uh, was um, I think it took like four weeks for it to reach one million and compared to that, the first single of the last album, Hunger, yeah. took like 10 months to reach the same status. So obviously that's really cool. Yeah, but I, I actually bought one million computers now. So <laughs> I, just, I just needed to sync them and, you know, yeah. <laughs> It'd be easy just to kind of like, you know, get a computer program and change your IP address. Something. What? Change your IP address. <laughs> Could have saved yourself all your royalties. Yeah. If, there, if there's anyone out there that's interested in buying one million computers, my number is down here. <laughs> so what's what's next for you boys anyway? What's going? What's happening? I know you've got a Jap Japan tour coming up soon, haven't you? Yeah, we'll you you've done that. Next next in line is uh, next week. We're going to do Masters of Rock in yeah. uh, Czech Republic, and just in general, just uh, play a lot of festivals. And right in between the festival season, we all also in our what was supposed to be our vacation time, we booked a two and a half week uh, of tour, headline touring yeah. in the US as well, yeah. which we're very much looking forward to do. We've only done one show in the US before, hey. and the record has done really well, actually, uh, in the US. So it's going to be very exciting. It got into the top 10, didn't it? Uh, not no, billboard no, no, wise, no, no, but, yeah, but yeah, but rock, on the rock. And number one, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it was like uh, on the iTunes metal charts, it was uh, number one. So I all think it's amazing that it's so many it's bands. Also, it's also number one on my mom, on my mom's uh, favorite <laughs> album list. So yeah, most played album <laughs> in iTunes. <laughs> <laughs> she's on Spotify on repeat. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, she's borrowing my one million computers. So. <laughs> Loaning them. <laughs> It'll be out of date in about two months. <laughs> so, how, how do you feel about the, the success in America has been for you guys? And I know you've only been over there once. It must be quite kind of a bit frightening thinking you're going to go over there and do an actual tour and sort of like headline. Well, it was like very freaky in the sense that uh, since we have never done a proper tour in any way, we haven't supported it, we haven't been opening, we haven't been main supporting, we haven't done anything, and now we're starting out as a headliner. So that's obviously very scary because uh, the responsibility is ours. If there is no turnout, then the promoters will obviously blame us and we won't get the chance to come back there. But uh, we very recently saw the first figures for yeah. the tour. Yeah, and, and I, 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 I must add there, we, we actually have 500 pre-sales now in Madison Square Garden. And, uh, and I really hope that uh, some more people see no, this. No. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> that got me there. That really got me. <laughs> so, how is the relationship between all you guys? You know, there's, there's obviously six of you on a tour bus and stuff. And I mean, how do you how do you deal with each other? Do you just tell you and to piss off, or do you know what I mean, like lock him in a cupboard, or? This you know, is the first time we've been like one meter away from each other for months. <laughs> It's hard because you've got like a lot of different members and stuff. You know, people have families. How do you deal with it emotionally, or try to deal with it? It's like a second family. You know, like before we 
got this touring possibilities that to tour everywhere we more or less hang out more or less every day but now it's the band is the second family so you you have your family at home and when you're home you're with your family number one and then when you're on tour you're with your family number two so so it's two lives so how do you deal with the arguments are there any the arguments i always win them so i have no problems <laughs> does anyone have to fight to put the cd on that they want to listen to <laughs> no, I, I actually don't listen to music, so I actually, uh, I'm always the first guy in the bus, and I throw the CD out. <laughs> the so. argument is usually like this, if somebody puts on music, uh, we had a replacement guy called Henke on the, the last tour that we did with, uh, with Stradivarius, and I think he tried to put on music two times, and then he uh, came into a big fight with uh, Jake, so <laughs> that never happened again, <laughs> pretty much. So no, but it, when it comes to arguments and conflicts and stuff like that, I mean, we've been kind of been feeling, you know, the atmosphere a little bit for the first Ooh. year. Yeah. And uh, of course, sometimes you get into fights, sometimes you get into arguments, but we've been actually been spending more time than pro probably or possibly any other family, real family does. So the last, like, especially the last 10 or 11 months, everything has been really chill because now everybody knows each other's spaces and everything. Okay. So... Uh, I always find it amazing in Gothenburg for such a tiny city <laughs> where we all kind of hang out with each other, don't we? But like all the bands that come out and like a massive worldwide, I think that's totally insane. How was it for you breaking through? Well, I have, we definitely build up on the tradition of the old Gothenburg scene, and we're pretty good friends with uh, with a lot of the you know traditional Gothenburg bands like In Flames and Evergrey and Hammerfall and you know all that stuff, but. Uh, we wanted to take that not to the next level, yeah. but if you know, we wanted to do something different with that. Yeah. We were both growing up with exactly that music style when we were like 14, 15. Um, so to be one of those bands that uh, it's still really hard to com compare us to th these really classic <laughs> bands because we still have a huge amount of respect for them. But to somehow be a part of that is absolutely amazing, and it's ev everything that we wanted when we were kids. Yeah, but but. I, one correction there. Uh, we didn't want it to take it to the next level. We wanted to take it to the Nexus level, <laughs> and and uh, and uh, and also it's it's pretty awesome to be a band because like if you want to have a record deal, yeah. you can just write, yeah, we're from Gothenburg, and they sign you directly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Do they? Yeah. I've not found that yet. <laughs> well, almost. Yeah, kinda. Now, now you know. Now you know the secret. Uh, it, kind of it kind of works like this. Like you're born, and then you grow up, and then like you go to this uh, like official agency. In, in Gothenburg, in, in here in Sweden, you're like, well, on Avenue. I, I, I want to be a, gu a good guitar player, and they grant you a good guitar playing, <laughs> and then you are a good guitar yeah, player. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Or you just sit in rock barn and get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I should say sticky fingers. I'll get in trouble for that. <laughs> Man, kill half my balls for that. <laughs> yeah, totally. No, no, we are, we only drink in sticky fingers, right? <laughs> that, that's exactly. it. We don't go to mention place. Yeah, we meant the rock for <laughs> yeah, 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 gonna get shot for that one, so is there anything you want to say to the fans back home before we finish up, I think we're back home here, if I yeah, shout exactly. really loud, <laughs> Whoa, thank you very much, <laughs> to, the, to the 200 people waiting for you, <laughs> <laughs> just having some yeah, fun with just, you guys, it was just fantastic to play here yeah. in Sweden again, even if I'm talking English in Sweden, which makes absolutely no sense. No, I'm kidding. But no, it's fantastic to be here. But when do you talk? When do you talk Swedish to me in in Sweden? Never. Never. No, no. <laughs> this is what happens when you have friends in bands. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It exactly. all goes to shit. Now carry on. No, but uh, <laughs> like I said, the show today was absolutely fantastic, and the, the guys, the support that you showed us, tack så mycket. Det var fantastiskt. Det var grymma. Thank you very much. Okay. This has been Chris Panic. We're at the Motorhead Lounge at Metal Town 2013. We have the wonderful Amma Renf here. And uh, put your hands up and rock on. And where's Motorhead, by the way? The Motorhead Lounge. <laughs> <No>. <laughs>